Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video, I am going to talk about 7 things that you have to remember before you start your algo trading journey. Now, what is the capital that you require to start your algo trading? Basically, you can sell one lot of straddle or strangle with around 1.7 lakh, 2 lakh rupees of capital. So, but do we start uh, algo trading using that capital? No. Unless you have a zero brokerage account uh, after GST, SDT, algo charges, etc. You will still not be able to make any kind of money because all your profits will go under un, into these uh, charges. So if you trade with 4 lakh capital and do 2 or 3 strategies also, you will be paying approximately 2 to 3 percent of your capital as your taxes, brokerages, uh, different charges and all. Let's assume or let us just calculate uh, what are the calculations or what are the things that you have to remember before you start. Like let's take that we have a 4 lakh capital and we run 3 strategies, time based strategies. These are without re-entries or assume that we use 2 strategies with multiple re-entries. Now brokerage that we have to, uh, that we pay is basically 20 rupees per side and 20 rupees into 6 is buy and sell side equal to 120 rupees and once you add STT, GST, uh, turnover, taxes and etc. This will approximately come at around 100 rupees or so for the whole day. Now brokerage per day of your on your capital would come at around 250 rupees or so. So in 20 trading sessions you are paying 250 rupees into 20 that is 5000 rupees as your uh, charges for the uh, uh, as as your options trading charges. Now after that 1000 to 1500 rupees is approximately your algo platform charges if you are using a third party app for uh, deploying the algo then it would cost you around 1000 to 1500 rupees for the uh, running the algo now let's assume that if you are not running the algo on a third pa party platform but you have designed your own inbuilt system so in that case uh, if you do not know coding then approximately it will charge 50 uh, your coder will charge you 15 to 20k for coding the simplest of simplest strategies then comes the cost of aws like the cloud services and etc so in a in an all if you can uh, think that approximately this would cover your 15 months of trading and this is your one time cost but uh, for any kind of upgrade and all in case you are not uh, uh, in case you are not a coder then you have to pay him regularly or whatever the terms and conditions of your service are so as a beginner i would suggest that you use a third party app for deploying your strategy so that you do not have to think about the infra maintenance about the infra rms of the system and all and about the uh, uh, cloud services so personally i use uh quantiplier for deploying my algo and i currently i trade with personally i trade with around 40 lakh rupees of capital and i manage some clients account around uh, 20 30 lakh rupees as of now so uh, after that let's assume that uh Algo trading charges are 1500 rupees per month. Your average brokerage is coming at around 5k. This is coming at around uh, uh, one. Let's assume that 1000 is your approximate charges for the the third party app. And let's assume that 1000 rupees you are uh, basically giving up giving for back testing and all for the back testing platform. So I use Stockmock as a black back testing plat platform, and I do all kind of back testing here personally and my results have been matching approximately around 80 to 90 percent of the time with the back testing and that is the ideal expectation that one should have you cannot uh, think or you cannot assume that your back test will match 100 percent of the 100 percent with the real because back testing is generally done on one minute uh ohlc data while we are trading real time right on the ltp data that we get so uh, if we run the same strategy so we are getting around 6k uh, like 6k is the minimum 6k to 8k would be the average charge that you have to pay for running the algo now if you use zeroda platform then additional you have to pay 2000 rupees for the api charges for the zeroda now this is an additional cost for a uh, for a zeroda user but if you use like angel broking ifl finance uh, finvesia or any other uh, sir, platform which does not charge uh, which does not charge API, then you can save this kind of money as well. So add even 2K to this and this would come at around 10K. Now, this is the minimum charge that you have to pay any for any kind of uh, for 4 lakh rupees capital. So on a 4 lakh capital, you are paying approximately 8 to 10K that is coming at around 2% of your capital. Now, even if you manage to make 
twelve thousand rupees, or let's say even if you manage to make four percent on your capital, let's assume you made sixteen k, then after all the taxes, you would be only making around four k to six k. Right, that is only coming at around one to one point five percent. But if you run the same strategy on a two lot, basically, so the capital required would be eight lakhs. Your brokerage would approximately come at the same price because for one lot you are paying twenty rupees, for two lots also you would be paying twenty rupees, for ten lots in a single order you are still paying twenty rupees. Only thing that would increase is STT and GST that would increase minor and uh, that that but your profits are going to go double. So for on a eight lakh capital if you are making five percent that is or let's your let's assume that you are making four percent here you are making thirty two k. But after reducing the after uh, reducing the ten thousand rupee charge, you are still making around twenty two k, right? Here, if we remove the ten k, you are you are making only one k, one uh, uh, percent. Here, we are making uh, still we are able to make around three percent. So, as you increase the capital, the cost of doing business would come down eventually, because uh, for uh, as you increase the number of lots into the same strategy. Right, so the back testing platform link I have shared in the description below, and the execution platform link is also I have shared in the description below. Now, if you sign up in Stockmark using a uh, using your mobile number, and if you use the same number in Quantiply as well, you can get up to ten percent discount on Quantiply for running the execution uh for the same plat uh, same strategies. Right now, you can run all almost all of the strategies of Stockmark on the Quantiply app, and I personally use Quantiply. And I've been trading with around twenty six to thirty strategies personally in my account. So, uh, for me, it has been working really great. And uh, you can even you can uh, use the link in the description to start your account, right? So, if you add operation cost only, it comes at around eight to ten thousand per month in normal brokerage account. You can save this brokerage if you start using a uh, Finvesia that is a zero brokerage account. But that you should be doing it on your own risk. Now, ideal capital to start algo trading would be minimum eight to ten lakh rupees. That too, if you have zero brokerage account, then that would all be ideal. If you use re-entries or multiple, uh, if you are trading with multiple strategies, like a lot of strategies, in a twenty rupees order per order account, a paper order account, your brokerage would come nearly one to two percent minimum, depending upon the number of entries. Personally, the three lot strategy that I have shared on the Twitter, that is there that. There, the brokerage is coming at around one percent per month. That is around eight thousand. So even if you use four lakh capital or eight lakh capital, you have to pay the same kind of brokerage because uh, you know the number of uh, lots are same for uh, the charges on the number of lots does not change. So this is an account. Uh, this is a seven seven point five lakh strategy that I've been trading it from more than three months now. So the live data of PNL versus backtest is also shared, and some of the live PNL accounts of my clients is also shared here, where you can see uh, approximately eighty thousand rupees is the return after taxes and all here in three months, and this is the live PNL data of backtest versus real. So here, as you can clearly see, in the month of June, the backtest showed minus ten thousand loss. And the real loss was around eight thousand eight hundred. So there was a difference of only nineteen hundred rupees. Okay, so that is what I wanted to say. That even if you add slippages and all, your data is not going to match hundred percent of the time with the back test. Here in July, the back test was fifty nine thousand. In the real account, it was fifty four thousand. Basically, in on one day, the stop loss was hit in uh, real life, but it did did not hit in the back test. Right? On the in August, the real data was around. Twenty thousand back test was around eighteen thousand. So there is a there was again a difference of sixteen hundred. In September, the real profit was around sixty four thousand rupees. This was this is all pre pre taxes and the uh, back test uh, back test profit was at around sixty eight thousand rupees. Right. So this is on a eight lakh rupees seven point five lakh to eight lakh rupees of capital. And uh, you can if you want to start your algo trading journey, you can use the link in the description below for the payment. The Uh, charges for the strategy are one time charge for uh, five thousand rupees for the base seven lakh basket. Now, if you have additional uh, capital, then you can uh, DM me using uh, the number that is there in the link in the below. And uh, yeah, so does algo trading require monitoring? Now, as we are using softwares and machines to trade, all systems, 
all trading systems in the world world would have glitched some or the other point of time right so you cannot leave the system unmonitored and but that does not also mean that you keep on steering the system every second right so constant monitoring every one hour would be a good thing to start with where you just keep on checking the system whether the stop loss have been played place whether uh, the algo platform or whether your brokerage is working broker is working fine or not now uh, even though you can fly planes on autopilot we still require pilots to monitor the plane similarly you still need to keep a check on the system if uh, if you are doing any form of trading be it algo trading or discretionary trading you just cannot leave the system unmonitored here now some of the errors that you can encounter while algo trading are broker down algo platform down orders are getting placed but stop loss wasn't placed for some orders now margin shortfall in case of special days when margin requirement increases drastically so these are some of the live uh, errors that we faced while we were trading uh, while we have while, while we have traded algo now this was a zerda oi limit where uh, in an option buying account where i have started option buying account where some of my clients faced the uh, issue of oi limit and they could not buy the options in delivery they had to buy it in mis only now this is one of the orders where uh, orders stop loss did not get placed the order got placed into the account the stop loss did not get placed also we were not able to execute or exit the uh, strategies that were already uh, that were already placed so we had to wait for the broker to get uh, running and uh, like it costed our, it costed us a little bit but yeah these are the plat these are the uh, issues that you can get any point of the time and it could be in any broker so this is zeroda this is uh, finvesia and there was one day where i had got a margin shortfall issue where uh, the there was a slight there is there was only slight uh, less margin compared to the margin required due to the sudden increase of oh, margin requirement due to the uh, event day or something like that right so these are the issues that we get and we need to monitor the positions and we need to close the position manually in this case now what broker does quantify support so quantify supports right now angel one zeroda finvesia ifl securities now additional charges have, as i have mentioned zeroda charges to 2k per month for the api and no other broker charges uh, for api finvesia is zero brokerage account so you can save up to 1 to 2% of your capital as brokerage here now what are the pros and cons of algo trading now pros of algo trading are it would help you to minimal minimalize uh, uh, emotional trading it allows you for backtesting basically you can backtest the strategy and then deploy it preserve the traders discipline so this means that uh, you do not over trade you try to stick to the system and you do not apply your brains into the market hours rather than you use your brains after the market hours to uh, backtest systems or to develop new systems now you can trade multiple accounts using uh, algo because uh, the machines are going to take or machines are going to place order so personally i trade with around four different accounts at the same time so orders get placed automatically into my account in all the four different accounts if you want to start your algo trading journey basically you can watch these three videos for which i would add the link in the i button so this is the first video that you can start with this is the second video and this is the third video also i have created a playlist for algo trading you can uh, watch this playlist of options trading here which can help you to start your algo trading journey right now uh, let's move on to the uh, cons of the algo trading so mechanical failures can happen as i mentioned requires monitoring of functionality as this is also a thing that i have mentioned that you cannot leave the system unmonitored and can perform poorly so this means that you had backtested a strategy but it, it is not performing into the live market due to some or the other uh, logical issues with the strategy maybe but the strategy that i trade perform approximately 90% have uh, 90% of the results match with the backtested data so yeah now this is the last and one of the most common things that what happens in real versus backtest so instances there would be instances where our stop losses are getting hit in the real life but it does not get hit in the backtest because you know the entry there could be few minor points of differences in true in, in in the entry price or in um, basically in the backtest as well as the real there could be instances where the stop loss hits in the live trade but in backtest it doesn't so that you get uh, in that case you get a negative slippage
so let me show you one example where you can get a difference between the backtest and real let's assume that your execution platform has taken a price of 138 rupees and the backtesting platform has taken a price of 139 rupees now assume that you have, might have kept a stop loss of 50 points into this as well as 50 points so your stop loss is coming at around 150 uh, 188 rupees here your stop loss is coming at around 189 rupees now it could be a possibility it could be a scenario where the price just touches 188.5 and reverses from that like this so in this case what happens is your real time data the stop loss has got hit but in backtest has the stop loss got hit because your in uh, backtest it has it had taken 139 rupees probably or let's assume 138.75 so in this case it is not going to assume it's not going to uh, your stop loss is not going to get hit in backtest so your stop loss has you have lost 50 rupees here 50 rupees into 25 quantities of bank nifty so you are going to lose approximately 1250 rupees extra here but either in this case you can see your stop loss might not have hit and it might have reversed and closed at around 100 rupees so you have gained 38 rupees here in backtest so this is where your differences would come in backtest versus real over a, over a period of time these slippages uh, get nullified and your real data will ma will match with the backtest if you have a good execution system and personally i prefer stock uh, stock mock as well as quantify for my backtest and my uh, real uh, execution right sometimes strike selection could be different which can lead to different pnl from the backtest also so this is also a scenario where this is an advanced case where strike selection could be different when we use the closest premium range feature or closest premium feature on uh, uh, the platform right spikes don't get captured in the backtest as it's a one minute ohlc data and hence you can get a different pnl as well so once you keep in mind what happens in backtest versus real then only we can uh, proceed ahead ki, yeah these are the things that are going to happen in real life and i am ready to uh, i am ready to accept these scenarios where my backtest and my real won't match 100% of the time then only we should you should be proceeding ahead with uh, algo trading now the last and the final thing that i want to say is ideal expectation targeting 40 to 50 percent uh in uh, should be your ideal expectation uh, in the real time in real life and over expectations and underperforming will be more hurtful than under expectations and outperforming so always always take the worst case scenario and then out try to outperform that rather than uh, optimizing the strategy for the best results and then not getting the desired results that you have seen in the backtesting. Expect 80 to 90% of the backtest results in real time so that uh, if you get better or if you get accurate results, then that is well and good. But if you're not, your expectation should be around 80 to 90% of the backtest result. Now, um, yeah, so after that, I do have some option selling services. Now, if you are a trader who has a 10 lakh plus capital and are look, if you are looking to automate your selling strategies, then you can contact me using the number 7674007938 and uh, I would share the drive link for multiple uh, algo trading backtested data that I have shared with you all. Option buying data, option selling strategies for multiple capital and these strategies can be customized according to your own capital be it 10 lakh 15 lakh 12 lakh or whatever the capital that you have if you like the video do share it with your friends and always remember algo trading is not a holy grail trading strategy where you just click on a button and you start making money it is not a money plan that you just plant and it keeps on giving you money there would be phases of drawdown there would be phase, phase, phases where you start uh, doubting your systems and all but that is all a part of system and only the people those who survive that due period are going to make much ahead in their algo trading journey so thank you do sign up using the link in the description below and yeah